has been a rough day of flooding in the Brazos Valley. All day we've been hearing stories of people trapped, needing rescue, and all around struggling to contend with this weather. News 3's Whitney Miller was out in the elements today. She begins our team coverage from the Wolf Pen Creek District and College Station. And Whitney, what is going on where you are? Well, you know, Carla, Kathleen, flooding is exactly what the weather team has been telling us. It's been widespread today and it's been a big issue. Uh, I'm here at Wolfpin Creek. The entire amphitheater is currently underwater and there's been a lot of flooding just around the area in several spots that I visited today. But one thing that this flooding does is remind you to stay off the roadway if you can help it. From Bryan to College Station, I spent the day on the road checking out flooding. I wound up stopped on a number of closed roads. My first stop, FM 1179 in Grasper. It looks like Brian Lake over there. The water from Wixon Creek making 1179 impassable and causing a headache for residents who live nearby. There's only, I think, two ways that I know of. This is one, and now this is one. But barricades didn't stop drivers over on Old Reliance. I saw a number of people ignore the orange and white roadblocks and try their luck at crossing flooded spots. While high bodies of water and terrible flooding plagued most of our area, it also brought out the best of us. Meet the self-proclaimed Three Amigos. And we're just we're just willing to help, a, you know, lend a helping hand. The trio spent most of the day out in the rain searching the Forest Lake subdivision for families in need. People These with are our neighbors. Uh, you know, water coming in their house, um, trouble getting in their vehicles, you know, cars not starting. They say they've seen high water, down trees, and a lot of rain, but they keep on patrolling. You can't really uh, plan the weather. It yeah. is what it is, and we're just going to deal with it as it comes. You know, it was so nice to run into the three amigos because it just kind of shows you someone else doing something special for someone when we're going through such a tough time here in, at home and across the state. But like our weather team says, flooding is still a concern and that means more closed roadways. So I know that uh, Rusty is continuing our coverage and he's over on Harvey Road and I was out there earlier today, Rusty, and it was completely impassable.